Hello, uh, back again with another video. This is, uh, we had quite a few on this particular truck, 07 uh, GMC Yukon, 5.3 liter engine. Um, I'm going to talk about something happened to me the other day here. I, I went up to my truck, I started it up and I had a puff of smoke come out of the tailpipe, like a blue blue smoke for, oh, I don't know, uh, maybe 5-10 seconds. And I was like, what in the world? And I'm like, oh yeah, a 5.3 liter classic. You get you get up towards uh, the miles that I have on this truck, um, about 230-ish, 230,000 miles. You have problem. You start having problems with the PCV system. Um, a lot of a lot of guys they say, oh, this guy told me, my mechanic told me the rings are bad or uh, valve seals, you know, in the cylinder head are ba are bad. You got to tear the engine apart to fix it. Well, I'll tell you what. About 99% of the time, and I know you you hear that from me a lot if you're a subscriber, um, the problem is the driver's side of the motor here has got a valve cover going across here right underneath the coil packs. In the back of that valve cover, there is a PCV uh, tube that comes off the valve cover. PCV stands for positive crankcase ventilation. Now with this design from the factory, there's a problem. There's a baffle under this valve cover neighbor's going crazy and so is my dog <laughs> but anyway there's a hole in a baffle underneath this valve cover that was relocated an updated version of this uh, valve cover um, what happens is um, that allows oil to get in into the intake system and that's you get that puff smoke so what's happening here is that the PCV valve may have also uh, may also be at fault Unfortunately, with this model, the 5.3 liter, it's built into the valve cover. So if you want to replace that, you need to buy an all-new valve cover, uh, <clears throat> which may sound expensive, and it may sound like a difficult job to do, but truth being, it's only about a half-hour job. I'm not going to cover it at this point. It's very simple to do. Half-hour tops, 15 minutes if you know what you're doing around some wrenches. Um, the valve cover... Um, the one I ordered is a Dorman valve cover, part number 264969 from Amazon, it's about 70 bucks. Dorman, part number 264969, you throw that in there, I mean, and you're going to solve your uh, smoke out the tailpipe on occasion or every morning if it's bad. One thing you can do um, to test it. It's not always reliable, but you can pull this valve cover, or I'm sorry, you can pull this oil cap with the engine running, put your hand over it, and you should feel a pretty good suction coming out of that. Maybe not maybe not like a vacuum cleaner, you know, intensity, but you should be able to feel that. But don't let that discourage you from going ahead and changing that valve cover out here because there are other problems with oil consumption that the 5.3 has due to that baffle that's inside of that valve cover. So. I suggest you go ahead and do that. Like I say, very simple. There's plenty of videos out there on how to do it. Um, I just want to make sure that people aren't getting poor diagnosis from whomever and they think they have to uh, rebuild their cylinder heads or they someone's trying to tell them their piston rings are all gone and you know if your piston rings are gone you're smoking you know, when you're going down the road. Typically um, the PCV system fails on these you have just a few seconds of smoke, maybe a little bit longer until maybe until you get on the road and accelerate. It clears up, excuse me. But uh, I just wanted to help some people make sure uh, you're not spending money where you need not. And uh, it'll solve my problem. And I've seen it solve many, many, many other people's problems with these 5.3 liters. So I hope you learned a couple things. If you liked the video and it helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.